It was a big show of strength loaded with symbolism as Prime Minister Narendra Modi landed on the Purvanchal Expressway on board a C-130J Super Hercules tactical transport aircraft of the Indian Air Force. The Purvanchal Expressway is being hailed as the super highway for economic growth. With fighter jets and transport aircraft landing at one stretch of this expressway, about 3.2 kilometers long, the signaling was that the expressways are as good as runways. Kumar Abhishek gets us more. Comes the mighty Mirage 2000. The Mirage 2000 multi role fighter jets. The Jaguar deep penetration strike aircraft. The Su 30 MKI air dominance fighters. Thundered along the Purvanchal Expressway as Prime Minister Narendra Modi dedicated the 341 kilometer long expressway to the nation. The Prime Minister arrived on board the C 130J Super Hercules tactical transport aircraft of the Indian Air Force that landed on a specially made 3.2 kilometer long runway along the expressway. Ahead of a breathtaking display of air power, a Mirage 2000 jet landed on the expressway and was quickly refueled by a Bowser park there. A team of IF engineers also carried out mandatory checks before the fighter jet took off again. This is exactly why the runways on expressways are extremely crucial to give the IAF an emergency landing ground, refueling stop and ability to take off and join combat in case the main air bases are targeted by the enemy in combat. Multiple landing strips are being prepared across the country for emergency operations and also for humanitarian aid and disaster relief or HADR operations. There are similar runway stretches being prepared. One in Jammu and Kashmir, one in Punjab, two in Haryana, three in Uttar Pradesh, three in Andhra Pradesh, two in West Bengal, three in Rajasthan, four in Gujarat, two in Tamil Nadu, one in Bihar, three in Assam and one in Odisha. These 26 airstrips in an emergency can double up as an emergency airbase both for quick disaster relief operations and refueling, rearming, checks and be back in the sky for operations. An AN-32 aircraft, the old warhorse of the IAF transport fleet, capable of short takeoff and landing, was able to showcase landing in hostile territory, special forces coming out of the aircraft in buddy pairs, taking control of a runway or a vital asset and then fanning out to protect it for future operations and bringing in additional men and material. The Prime Minister appreciated the role of the IAF and spoke of the development of the region being taken to the next level with a dedicated defence and freight corridors being set up. UP mein ban raha defense corridor bhi yaha rojgar ke naye avsar lane wala hai. Mujhe vishwaas hai UP mein ho rahe infrastructure ke ye kaam aane wale samay mein yaha ki arth vavastha ko nai unchai denge. The Prime Minister emphasized the importance of the expressway in turning the fortunes of Purvanchal and stressed on the need for better security, for better economy. With Kumar Abhishek on the Purvanchal Expressway, Bureau Report, India Today. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi unveiled the 341 kilometre long Purvanchal Expressway now, this was a gift, as he said, to the people of Uttar Pradesh. But more than that, this big-ticket inauguration, it was the Prime Minister's 
unsparing attack on the opposition that dominated headlines as Uttar Pradesh heads into elections. Targeting the Samajwadi Party government, the Prime Minister accused Akhilesh Yadav regime of blocking development and indulging in politics of appeasement. High power Purvanchal Vikas blitz in pole bound Uttar Pradesh. Prime Minister Narendra Modi in full election mode launches a blistering attack on opposition. Pichle Mukhya Mantriyon ke liye Vikas wahi tak simit tha jahan unka parivar tha, unka ghar tha. Button dab gaya. Unveiling the 341 km long Purvanchal Expressway linking Lucknow to Ghazipur. Prime Minister Modi trained his guns on the principal challenger Akhilesh Yadav. I was the MP, so the काम का हिसाब देने के लिए उनके पास खुद को था ही नहीं इन विमानों की गर्जना कॉलिंग द एक्सप्रेसवे अ सिंबल ऑफ द स्ट्रांग विल पावर ऑफ यूपी मोदी अक्यूज्ड डायनेस्टिक पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ ऑब्स्ट्रक्टिंग डेवलपमेंट चाहे लखनऊ हो या दिल्ली दोनों स्थानों पर परिवारवादियों का ही दबदबा रहा सालों साल तक परिवार वादियों की यही पार्टनरशिप यूपी की आकांक्षाओं को कुचलती रही बर्बाद करती रही यहां के लोगों का परिश्रम प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदीज अटैक्स डिड नॉट एंड हियर ही लॉडेड द पीपल ऑफ यूपी फॉर रिजेक्टिंग वैक्सीन हेजिटेंसी फ्यूल्ड बाय ऑपोजिशन रिश्ता बना है नाता बना है मैं यूपी के लोगों की इस बात के लिए भी सराहना करूंगा कि उसने भारत में बनी वैक्सीन के खिलाफ किसी भी राजनीतिक अपप्रचार को टिकने नहीं दिया यूपी की जनता इन्हें इसी तरह आगे भी परास्त करती रहेगी उन्होंने हमारा हर को साथ दिया द ऑपोजिशन हिट बैक एट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर the fact sir that the foundation stone of the purvanchal expressway was laid down by the then chief minister akhilesh yadav ji on 22nd of december 2016 he planned the alignment the budgetary allocations were made and uh, the standards to which uh, it should uh, meet was also um, discussed in great detail this is become a become a habit with the prime minister doesn't do anything of his own keeps taking credit for things that have not been been done by this particular project also was announced and conceptualized much before he became the prime minister so he should stop taking credit he should start working instead the expressway is a big bone of contention for the bjp and sp with both claiming credit akhilesh yadav has time and again accused the bjp of stealing credit over the purvanchal expressway जहाँ तक सवाल पूर्वांचल के एक्सप्रेसवे का है इसका भी नाम बदला गया ये समाजवादी पूर्वांचल एक्सप्रेसवे जो समाजवादी पार्टी की सरकार का विजन था और जो काम समाजवादी पार्टी साढ़े चार साल पहले कर चुकी उसी काम को आज सरकार कर रही है इनके पास कोई नया काम भी नहीं है दिखाने को जनता के लिए expressed on the expressway in sultanpur with cameraman sanjay singh abhishek mishra for india today so with just about 4 months to go for uttar pradesh elections the bjp is focusing on purvanchal the eastern belt of uttar pradesh and it, this is the prime minister himself leading the campaign he has visited this region four times in the last 6 weeks he has inaugurated a series of development projects so why are the 164 seats of purvanchal so crucial for the bhartiya janata party and what is the bjp's battle plan 
our political bureau gets us more. Elections in UP may be a few months away, but the BJP is leaving nothing to chance. The BJP is bringing out the biggest weapon in its arsenal. Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself. With the equations unclear in Western UP, the BJP is paying special attention to Purvanchal. The high-octane blitz reached a crescendo on Wednesday when Prime Minister Modi made a Herculean landing in a C-130J Hercules aircraft on the 341-kilometer Purvanchal Expressway connecting Lucknow to Ghazipur. Today, ये पावन धरती का पूर्वांचल एक्सप्रेस वे के सौगात मिलत बा प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी इस कैंपेन बिगैन विथ हिज विजिट टू वाराणसी हिज ओन पार्लियामेंट्री कॉन्स्टिट्युएंसी ऑन जुलाई 15 देन ऑन अक्टूबर 20th पीएम रीच्ड कुशीनगर where the people of Purvanchal were given the gift of an international airport as well as development projects worth over 450 crore rupees. Kushinagar ke logo ko, UP ke logo ko, Purvanchal purvi bharat ke logo ko, dunia bhar mein bhagwan buddha ke anuayyo ko, Kushinagar international airport ke liye, बहुत बहुत बधाई। In all of this, Prime Minister Modi has made his pitch clear. Vikas of UP under the BJP in Lucknow and at the centre. But the Prime Minister is only getting started. And in the coming days, Prime Minister will be launching a fertilizer factory and an aims in Gorakhpur. During the 2017 UP Assembly polls, the BJP posted a strong performance in Purvanchal, sweeping 115 of the 164 Assembly seats. BJP's campaign so far has revealed its two-pronged attack strategy. While Prime Minister Modi has stuck to the Vikas slogan in Uttar Pradesh, Chief Minister Adityanath is striking the Hindutva note in his campaign speeches. With Abhishek Mishra in Lucknow, Bureau Report, India Today.